Okay, it's Derby Day and what a way to end the decade. Park battled to a win against Cinderford last week, while OEs, despite lack of consistency, are always a threat. Will it be Christmas cheer for the boys or a blue Christmas from the blue and ambers? There's only one change in the pack with Sam Toomey returning to the second row for Jonathan Mills and it's the same story in the backs with Ben Howard coming onto the wing for Henry Cheeseman. The centre picked up a shoulder injury last week and Nick Scott takes his place. Ali Wade and Henry Spencer take Stuart Maguire and Jack Barnard's places on the bench for the last fixture of 2019. That one gets kicked out to Park's right wing. Howard standing over it. He'll kick himself to former Worcester man. And Edwards apparently not offside there and Holland allows a great right through the middle here and this could be a score right on the 13 minute mark. He's going to go all the way here. Ford Edwards just set it up the first try. Unbelievable stuff here at the London Derby. Five nils apart. And if we just, well, I don't know what happened there is that one. No, I'm not complaining. Yeah, I think it might have been touched by yeah, an OE's player, I think, on the, on the charge down from Howard, which has allowed Tom Edwards to be onside. Big offload there to Flashman. Carries it forward after the quick offload there from his uh, that guy Hamish Barton. And a penalty here. Penalty, I think they're not rolling away there. For a penalty in the middle of the park. He goes right through. Oh, he's get on the board. 7-3. Toomey trying to drive. His man over. Not quite getting there, Monroe, with the ball in his hands. Still trying to go for the line here. They've been forced to work for the second try, Park. Lavinsha now. He might have this work for him to get it over. And he does. Good patience there. Uh, this second, you know, multiple, multiple phases to be able to get there. But I think what we probably learned from a few games ago where we get that close to the line, the, the key is just to keep picking and going, putting the pressure on. I think that's probably good game management there. We've, we've kind of forced them. Um, picked and go close, kept it going, kept the pressure on and, and come away with the points. So. Left wing on the in the corner of Vaughan Edwards. It's a throw this one in. Goes to Toomey, finds him well. And all of a sudden it gets set up here. Ellis trying to take it in his hands and they're driving forward. It doesn't seem like there's any stopping it right now. And over they go, try number three. Secured. I mean, that's another for Hugo Ellis. Well, there you go. Yeah, he's got the ball in his hand. About two metres away. <laughs> Third try. Secured by Hugo Ellis, the captain leading for the front. We said it already. They have changed the gameplay up here and they're using it. They're working it on the full, working for that set piece and it's really paid them dividends. Offred is standing over it again. That's Lavinshire carrying it. Oh, they go over. I think they've got it. And they do. We'll see who comes out. Hugo Ellis gets his second try of the game. Two minutes, three minutes into the second half. Rosslyn Park get the bonus point. And once again, the driving play gives them the breakthrough. And a really commanding start to the second half for Kieran Powers' men. Long pass over the top here to Brown on this left wing. He's got support from the substitute. Alex Brown go through the middle here at Craig Holland. There's the cover and Holden just spills over the top and actually Claxton trying to get there first. And he does. Claxton scores the first try of the game for Old Eltamians. Oh, on your always. tips. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> oh, deep run there from long. Jamin Rose where he does go past one more and he gets it on the try line. Best possible response once again and Park find the 30 point mark. Fifth try and naturally Jamin Rowe who just loves to run from deep sliding, siving through the Altamian's defence. And maybe the proverbial nail in the coffin maybe, I don't know. But the, um, yeah, that would be a tough well. Joe's done well there, you know, he's hit the hard line. Cut the back, it's a hard thing to defend. So our line out goes short there. Oh, he's looking to drive this one over. And they do get it over. It's number 17, that is Nathan Morris, the substitute, who scores that one. And the oh, he's forced to, well, really, they're going to have to kick here unless they can move it really quickly here. And actually, they do move it quick through Alex Brown, and he's fiddly round. And he's got a bit of space in front of him. Henry Robinson, the arc keeper, at the moment. Never Edwards coming to support him. He's got support from Ledger, his number six. It was a good takedown there by Edwards and Robinson, really well tracked. But it means that Owies are on the 22 here. Look at Neville Edwards trying to come in from an offside position. And he will be punished for that. It will be 
And it's a oh. Simbin. For Just seeing Jack Gash come back on. Another driving maul here from Old Altamians. And they're still going here. Looks like it might be Brown with the ball in his hand, and it does go down again. And it is the uh, it is the front row man, Tom Conchu, who gets the maul. Right now, things just pressure just ticking up. The South West London Derby goes to Park, and they get their first double of the season, riding high, riding top of National League One, and riding into 2020 with good spirits. Right.